I am developing the series of videos on FAQs on .NET. So in this video, I want to discuss about what is data type and what are the different uh, data types that are available. What is type casting? What is boxing, unboxing, all these things. So what is data type? Data type specifies the type of data that we store in memory. So data types are basically divided into two types, value type data type and difference type data type. Uh, value type data type uh, again divided into two types, user defined and predefined. Reference type again two types, user defined and predefined. So user defined value type data types are structures and enumerators. Predefined value type data types are byte, short, int, long, float, double, decimal, char, bool. This all comes under predefined value type data types. Reference type data types again two types. User defined reference type data type. Predefined reference type data type. User defined reference type data types are array, class, interface, delegate. This all comes under user defined reference type data type. String object data type. These two comes under predefined reference type data types. So what is value type data type? The data type whose value, variable, address of the value, everything will be stored on stack memory is called as value type data type. Generally, where the memory is allocated for data means RAM. Your RAM is basically divided into two types. Stack memory and heap memory. Uh, value type data type memory will allocate on stack memory. So reference type data type memory will allocate on heap. So what is reference type data type? The data type whose value, variable, address of the value will be stored on heap memory. And uh, the reference will be stored on stack memory. So if you observe clearly in this example, I declare string s is equal to ab. Here ab is value, s is uh, reference, string is data type. So now the value abc is stored in heap and that abc will have some address 100 and the address of the value 100 is stored in stack along with the variable name. That is reference type data type. Next uh, in an interview they will ask what is type casting. So typecasting is a process of converting one data type value to another data type. So typecasting is of two types, implicit typecasting and explicit typecasting. Implicit typecasting means it is not required for the programmer to write a separate code while converting from one data type value to another data type. That is implicit typecasting. Explicit typecasting means the programmer has to write the code manually while converting from one data type value to another data type that is explicit typecast. So in C sharp there are different types of typecastings are there. One is boxing, unboxing, widening, narrowing. These all are different types of typecasting. So what is boxing? Boxing it is a process of converting value type data type to reference type data type. That concept is called boxing. So if you want to convert any data type to uh, string type then you have to use two string method. Here I given one example you see. I declared int i is equal to 10, string s is equal to i dot 2 string. So here i is the integer variable, s is string variable. 2 string is a method. What this 2 string method is doing? It is converting uh, integer value to string. So in i, integer value is stored. In s, string value is stored. So boxing requires explicit type casting. We have to write the code manually to convert one data type value to another data type. Next one is what is unboxing? It is a process of converting reference type data type to value type data type. So if you want to convert a string to any data type, for example string to int, string to float, string to double, then you have to use unboxing. So if you want to convert, uh, unboxing also requires explicit type casting. So if you want to convert a string to any data type, you have to use data type dot parse method. String to int, int dot parse. String to double, double dot parse. String to float, float dot parse. Data type dot parse method. For example, you can see, I have shown you an example. String s is equal to 10, double quotes. Int i is equal to int dot parse of s. So s is string variable, i is integer variable. So what this int dot parse method is doing, it is converting string to integer and storing in integer variable. Okay. So next question they will ask, what is widening? 
it is a process of converting smaller data type value to longer data type so if you want to convert uh, value type to value type like int to long or uh, short to int then you have to go for widening so widening requires implicit type casting no need to do write separate code to convert here in example i have showed you int i is equal to 10 long l is equal to i that is uh, uh, satisfied with widening so narrowing what is narrowing it is a process of converting longer data type value to smaller data type so narrowing requires explicit type casting okay so if you want to up implement narrowing you have to write the code separately here i given one example long l is equal to 10 int i is equal to int of l so here uh, narrowing requires uh, uh, explicit type casting and it supports c++ style of type casting this type of type casting is c++ style of type casting or simply you can call that concept is also down casting is it clear that is about narrowing next concept is um, what is cts common type system cts is used to provide common data types for all dotnet supportable languages actually dotnet is not a language dotnet is a framework it supports multiple languages like c sharp c sharp dotnet vb dotnet j sharp dotnet python script dotnet like multiple languages it will support different languages will have different data types these language data types cannot understand by clr clr uh, uh, responsibility is to execute the program and memory allocation memory management garbage collection this all can be taken care by clr common language runtime so clr cannot understand language data types different languages will have different data types in c sharp dot net you have int in vb dot net you have integer in c sharp you will declare int x is equal to 10 semicolon in vb dot net you will declare dim x as integer is equal to 10 so from one language to another language data type names will change so different languages will have different compiler c sharp dot net will have c sharp compiler vb dot net will have vb compiler these compilers what they will do they will convert the language data types into cts type cts style of cts is common type system see i here i showed you one table uh, c sharp dot net data type cts type and size in csharp.net you have byte cts name is system.byte here you have short system.int16 int system.int32 system long system.int64 float system.single double system.double decimal system.decimal bool system.boolean char system.char string system.string so these are the c sharp data types these are cts types so now what is happening here if you observe uh, for example if i declare int x is equal to 10 semicolon in c sharp dot net after compilation of your program the c sharp compiler what it will do it will convert int to int 32 that is cts type so language compiler will convert language data types into cts type so that clr can easily execute the code msil code okay now there is one more style of type casting that is cts style of type casting so if you want to convert any data type to any other data type we have to use cts style of type casting so if you want to convert any data type to int you have convert dot to int 32 method any data type to double convert dot to double off any data type to care convert dot to care off for example, if you say, I showed you an example, double D is equal to 2.3. Now, int x is equal to convert dot to int 32 of D. Now, double value we cannot store in integer. Whenever we store double value in integer, what will happen means the accuracy of the value will not be maintained. So, here 2.3 is stored in D, 2 is stored in x, integer variable. Okay, similarly, if you want to convert care to int i declare one more example you see care ch is equal to small a and int uh, uh, x is equal to convert dot to int 32 of ch 
So what will happen when we convert char to int? The ASCII value of the character will store in integer variable. Okay, every character will have character means alphabets or numbers or digits or special characters, any symbols. These all are called as characters. So when you try to convert character into integer, then the ASCII value of the character will store in where integer variable. So ASCII values you see I mentioned there small a to small z, capital A to capital z, zero to nine. Every character will have ASCII value. These are the ranges between that uh, of that characters. So these questions they will ask you mostly on data types and type casting. I hope you understood. For more videos, you try to subscribe to my YouTube channel and try to share, like. If you have any queries, you can comment in the comment box. Thank you. Have a nice day.